What's going on, everyone? Back by popular demand, you create your own suffering part two. Now, make sure you subscribe to my channel and help boost the algorithm by leaving a comment and a like and watching the video. <laughs> okay, so all the suffering that you create, at least 99% of it, is inside of you. So life is a game. That's why we're here. It's a play. So you might have heard a thing called karma. And basically you are in your own play. You are in your own Shakespeare. You are in your own theater. If you just sit back, which that's a whole nother video, and realize this, then you'll be like, oh, everything's a joke. If it's not a joke, what is it? It's a drama. They create dramas. That's why people love dramas. Because they like to use their minds and they like to battle each other with their minds. The mind, there's something behind the mind which is called life. Ooh. <laughs> life is everything. <laughs> it's more than the mind. It's, it's a different intelligence, though I don't really like that word. It's behind it. It's a different dimension. Your mind gets logical tasks done. It works very little as into what reality is. There's, there's, a, there's a brain behind that, if you will. So when you're in a relationship and you argue, anybody arguing, you're never going to win against the mind. Because the mind is meant to be egotistical in and to create problems for it to solve. <laughs> That's the whole problem of the mind. <laughs> so when you're going in drama with someone or in life, it's or hear thoughts in your head because your mind's never gonna stop, ever, until you step away from it, learn to get away from it, or see past it. <laughs> Arguing with someone's pointless because their mind is guaranteed to win. <laughs> it's designed that way. If you have a thought in your head, such as the past, nostalgia, a memory, if you have something even future in your head, or just a thought in your head, whatever it may be, you're creating some type of, some type of tension if, you, if you're really uh, beat if it's really bringing you down, bogging you down, because your thought, even though it's very, very small and very, very spectacle, only a little bit of energy, it's, it's, it's a form. It's taking you. It's taking your attention. Taking your energy. And thus, you're falling into this, and it's ruining you, <laughs> and you're not aware of it. So you become aware of it. <laughs> the whole meditation is not necessarily sitting down and watching your thoughts. You can watch your thoughts at any time. You want to get to a point where you don't have thoughts. That's what, Then you won't have this drama, these problems, the suffering. The whole reason that you suffer, I'll say it again, is so you undo your suffering and you realize you don't have to suffer anymore because you create the suffering. <laughs> oh, I'm not this good. Oh, I'm I'm ugly. Oh, why that happened to me? You know, my tooth, they got a long mustache. He got long hair. He's an ugly male. All these things probably are not someone else said from their mind. It didn't even come from yours. But now it is coming from yours because they're infection, they're infectious mind. I don't want to make this too long. There will be a part three of this video. Yes, there will. <laughs> Have a nice one. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel. You can make donations, cash app, snap, crackle, fizzle. Leave a comment and a like. Thank you.